Hi, um, it's Perry Perry here from um, chilihead.coza. Um, today I'm going to do a taste test of um, a chili that is just simply remarkable as far as the super hots go. Um, we've pretty much all heard about the uh, Trinidad uh, Butch uh, T Scorpion, which is the current Guinness Book of Records holder. Well, there's another uh, chili that has been um, echoing in the corridors of the uh, chili head um, fraternity, and that is the uh, Carolina Reaper, which I have right here. Uh, this is one that has been grown here in South Africa in my garden, and a very nice specimen it is as well. You can see here this very lethal looking. Uh, tail that uh, a lot of these pods are displaying, um, you can tell straight away, I mean this, this, this just looks evil. Um, let me tell you, this is an incredibly hot chili. Um, the current uh, Guinness Book of Records holder, uh, which is the Trinidad Scorpion Butch Tea, is uh, ranked at 1,463,700 Scoville heat units. That is the hottest uh, rating. Um, and this one here has been tested by Winthrop University at an average of um, 1,474,000 Scoville heat units. So this pot here is, um, is, is like as hot as the Guinness World Record holder on average, not at top heat. So that makes this incredibly, quite a lot hotter than anything else out there. Um, considering a, a jalapeno or jalapeno is, is about 5,000 Scoville heat units, you can do the basic maths on that. It's a, it's a firm chili, um, beautiful chili. Uh, you can see from all the folds and um, all the bumps and lumps and that mean looking stinger as they call it. Um, that this is, is not a chili to be messed with. It, 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 looks, it looks lethal. Um, so anyway, no, no, no smell from the outside really. Sometimes you give these chilies a little bit of a squeeze, and, but uh, beautiful coloring uh, and, as I said, beautiful shape. I'm going to give this a taste test. I still, no, no, no smells coming through. I've just snapped the, um, uh, the stalk off. And I am now going to cut this one open, but I don't want to lose the seeds in here, so if you don't mind, I'm going to harvest these seeds for future growing. Um, I will show you, however, what it looks like inside. Uh, that is the inside of the beast. Um, quite a few nice looking seeds in there, so if you give me some due time, I'll just Take those ones out. Um, I'm going to use my fingers to do that. I recommend anyone uh, handling this one definitely use gloves. Um, so, go. I'm going to just pull those ones out. And uh, that having been done, let me just have a quick smell. Mm. Very, very orangey smell. Um, in fact, the smell very much like a naga. Um, the, 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 the skin, uh, the, the, the thinness of the skin, um, very much that of a of a naga. The, the, the smell, yeah, definitely that sort of citrusy, perfumey, orange blossom smell. But enough of the smell. That's not where we're here. Um, the purpose of this exercise is to try this and to chew it for a minute or two and to give you my review on this. Um, you can see here on, on the glove there is loads of capsaicin just oozing out of this chili. I am shaking. I am actually just shaking here. But uh, yeah, cheers. Hmm. Lovely flavors. Absolutely delicious. <clears throat> the 
lovely orangey. Hmm. Quite a zing to it. I've swallowed it. <clears throat> Already the heat's beginning to reach the back of the throat. So that heat is kicking in fairly quickly. Um, I did I did spend the time yesterday in the in the chili field, so that's not me getting hot, um, that's actually just a sunburn. <laughs> um, yeah, some some lovely flavours, really some, some quite fantastic flavours. The closest I can relate it to is the um, is again the the, the nagas, um, some lovely orangey flavours, and I can I can feel that heat. It is just it is building up as we speak. Um, I'm trying to stop myself from hiccupsing. Um, ooh, the back of the throat, you can see I'm beginning to sweat. And that's not sunburn, that's now real sweat. The back of my throat is really burning now. Um, the whole mouth, my breath coming out. I can tell this is an incredibly, incredibly hot chili. Having tried the the butch tea, I think we're definitely, definitely going to get there. Um, the back of the throat is now really, really hurting. Uh, the eyes are streaming. Oh, that breath coming out of the back of the throat. Just here, that behind the Adam's apple. At the very back of the throat, it's like the worst tonsillitis you've ever experienced. That really is quite hectic. <laughs> so, yeah. None of the uh, the action that you that I've become to associate. Excuse the tears. I've become to associate with the. Um, uh, with the uh, the butch tea, which is the stinging underneath the the tongue, um, but certainly this this chili is caning the back of the throat. Uh, <clears throat> really creating some serious burn at the back of the throat. But that having been said, the flavour is still there. It's um, really quite quite lovely the way that. Um, you have this intense burn, but at the same time, you can still sense the flavor. But that burn is quite something. I mean, I have never, ever had a reaction like this before. So, yeah, that's really got the um, pain receptors going. Oh, that throat is killing me. That is hot. That is seriously, seriously hot. Oh, my goodness. Oh. And the sweat is running, and the eyes are running. And at the back of the throat here, it's like somebody's taken a hot poker and just poking it in the back. I don't think even the butch tea was quite as severe as this. Every time you breathe, it just, that Adam's apple is on fire, is absolutely on fire. And it just keeps on going. Um, by now, a lot of the chilies would have started subsiding. And I suspect this one hasn't even begun yet. Um, My goodness, that is hot. If I haven't said that before, this is incredibly, incredibly hot. I've been known to say this in one of my previous videos. I think it was the butch tea. But this is seriously, seriously, seriously hot. The nice thing is, um, you wouldn't really... Oh my goodness, it's difficult to talk. 
you wouldn't really eat a whole pod like this. Uh, it would take an idiot like myself to do that. But in small doses, I do believe this chili would be quite fantastic in, uh, in food. I think the flavor would definitely contribute and impart to the food. And you wouldn't need a lot of this chili to, to make anything hot. Ooh, my goodness. I'm beginning to get very lightheaded here. I'm aching, aching to drink that. Glass of milk, cold milk I've got sitting here. It's been 10 minutes. I'm still alive, barely. Um, but I think, uh, you know, I'm going to leave it there. I'm sure this burn is going to go on for some time. I'm glad I've done it. I'm glad I don't ever have to do it again. Um, but really, take it from me, this chili is seriously, seriously hot. I have never experienced anything like this. I don't ever want to experience anything like this again. It is a killer. Um, so without having been said, I am going to drink this and I'm going to enjoy this because my throat is being caned still. Oh my goodness, I cannot tell you. Mm -mm. <clears throat> this is not giving up. Oh, that feels good. My goodness. Yeah, I mean, what this chili did to the back of my throat is really, it's unprecedented. And the minute the milk is gone, oh, there it comes again. Whoa. This is, without a doubt, the world's hottest chili. I have no doubt. I have tried the hottest, and this just passes them all like they're standing still. Um, this is just amazing. If you are going to do this, think about it 15 times before you do. It is incredibly hot. Oh, my goodness. Hmm. Well, the time is up. That's me, Perry Perry from Chilihead.coza. <clears throat> that was the Carolina Reaper. The world's hottest chili. Um, it's been a pleasure, I think. Um, that's me over and out. Cheerio. <sighs> Ooh.